This is today's Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujas, and thank you for joining us at XM.com. Consumer prices in the United States soared by 5% in May, beating forecasts of 4.7% as the lockdown base effect and a number of one-off factors pushed annual inflation to the highest since 2008. However, as most of the price hikes are being attributed to supply constraints and other price distortions from the pandemic, investors are increasingly persuaded by the Fed's argument that the inflation overshoot is temporary. The striking lack of fear about runaway inflation couldn't be more evident in the Treasury market, where the 10-year yield only briefly spiked higher before resuming its slide. The European Central Bank on Thursday kept its stimulus settings unchanged. President Lagarde dismissed any suggestions that preparations to exit the pandemic emergency purchase program were already underway, saying it was too early and premature. However, when the Fed meets next week, there's likely to be a clear message that taper discussions will need to start soon, and there is a growing consensus that Chair Powell will use the annual Jackson Hole retreat in August to flag a policy shift. But even then, any dialing back of bond purchases is expected to be very gradual. After both the ECB meeting and U.S. CPI release were shrugged off by the markets, major pairs were left confined to their recent ranges. The U.S. dollar was marginally higher versus a basket of currencies on Friday. The euro has been tightly bound within a range over the past week, and it will be interesting to see if the Fed will be able to shake things up a little next Wednesday. There was little reaction in the pound to today's data, showing UK GDP exploded by a record 27.6% year-on-year in April as the economy reopened. Mounting concerns about rising virus infections in the United Kingdom, as well as an ongoing spat with EU over custom checks with Northern Ireland, are a bit of a drag on sterling at the moment. In equities, US stock futures were just about in positive territory during early European trading, following a record close for the S&P 500 on Thursday. Falling bond yields and easing worries about the inflation surge becoming permanent have been steadily lifting growth stocks on Wall Street in recent days, with the Nasdaq Composite moving closer to its all-time high. This was today's Daily Market Comment here at XM.com. Have a great weekend.